Welcome to Online Parent Support at MyOutOfControlTeen.com. I'm so glad that you made it. My name's Mark Hutton, and I know that you may have jumped over a lot of hurdles and through a lot of hoops to get here, but you made it. And welcome. Are you ready to get started? Great. Session one. Let's go. Now, I'm sure that you're doing, as a parent, most things right. In fact, I'm sure that you're doing at least 90% of things right. Now, you may disagree with that. You may even say, oh, well, I've really failed as a parent. I've been a terrible parent. Well, that's not the case. I know that's not the case. You're a good parent, and you have a good kid. So let's not even worry about wasting time with, with whether you're a good parent or not or whether your kid's a, a, a bad kid or whatever. He's a challenge, or she is a challenge. I know that. But you know what? You're doing the best that you could do given the circumstances. I want to talk to you for just a minute about how they build a bridge. When they build a bridge, there's a construction crew that starts building on one side of the water. Then there's another crew that begins building on the other side of the water, and they try to meet in the middle eventually. Now, if you have a bridge that's 90% complete, that thing's damn near done. But that last 10% is crucial. And that's all I'm going to be doing in this four-session uh, program. I'm just going to be helping you get that last 10% of bridge built so that you can reconnect with your kid because then and only then will they accept discipline from us. If we don't reestablish that bond, we don't have a snowball's chance in Hades of getting them to accept discipline. So in this first session, we're going to be mostly concerned with establishing a bond, uh, rebuilding that bridge, completing that last 10 percent, and uh, working on trust issues and such as that. You know, when the, uh, the child starts to act out um, and the behavior problems become a really, really huge issue, what typically happens first is the parent denies that the problems are as bad as they are. The parent may say things to herself like, this is just probably a phase, um, he'll outgrow it, or the parent attributes the negative behavior to a particular event that happened. And then the parent realizes that, you know, it's not a phase, it's a pattern, and things are not getting better, they're steadily getting worse, and they've been bad for a long time. Then the parent can get angry. You know, why me? What did I do to deserve this type of disrespect? I never treated my parents this way. My other child never treated me this way. You know, why should I have to tolerate this type of, ab of abuse? Then the parent will bargain. Well, maybe if he goes and lives with his dad, it'll be better. Or maybe if I'm just nicer, or maybe if I'm just tougher, um, or maybe if I threaten to call the cops, or if I go out to probation and file a complaint. And, and the parent tries all of these different traditional strategies, none of which works. And then the parent says, I've tried everything and nothing works. Then the parent can get depressed and feel a huge sense of helplessness and hopelessness. It's like, I don't know what to do next. I'm at my wit's end. And that's usually the point at which parents join online parent support or come to my live group. So the next phase is acceptance. Acceptance being you know what? Those were some tough times with my kid, but I can see now that I'm going to make it. I can see now that I have some strategies that are going to help me with it. So that's the good news. You've got light at the end of the tunnel right now, even though you may not be able to see it just yet. 